Shalom, all praise, honor, glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashim Yahushai, Ba'ashim Makar Kadosh, <clears throat> double honors to other apostles of Great Millstone, and salutations to Akim, teach all truth and sincerity. Um, this is um, a video going into, um, it's going to be called, uh, we were set up as watchmen over uh, Israel. So uh, this is Isaiah uh, 62, verse 6. I have set watchmen over thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. So we're, we are set up as the watchmen over uh, Yasharala, over, um, over Israel. The elect of Israel, especially the elect of Israel, but we we basically the watchmen over our people. We're supposed to warn them, um, you know, the prophets. That's where they were. That's where they are. The watchmen. We watch for the signs of the times, and we warn our people uh, what 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 is to come. You know, that's what a diligent watchman does. He watches. For the, for he watches over the flock, you know, um, and it says, um, "Ye, uh, I'm reading again Isaiah 62 verse 6. I have set watchmen over thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that mention of Yahweh keep not silence. And um, also as a as a diligent watchman, you're supposed to Basically, bug the Most High's ears. We're supposed to pray, and without ceasing, until He establishes and makes and brings the kingdom. Until He brings the kingdom on the earth, um, we're not supposed to give Him any rest. But it says in verse seven, it says, "And give Him no rest till He establish and until He makes Jerusalem praise in the earth, until He establishes the kingdom and set up." Um, and makes uh, the elect a praise in the earth and puts us back in rulership. Our next scripture I want to get is uh, Ezekiel uh, verse, chapter 3, verse 17. Ah, sloggy. <clears throat> this is Ezekiel 3, verse 17. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of of Israel, therefore hear the word at my mouth and give them warning for me. So, as a watchman, it's just to warn the people uh, about um, their wickedness that they're doing. It's supposed to warn them and tell them to stop doing that and turn back to the large that's commandments of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And if they don't take heed to the warning, um, it says. If we don't warn them that blood is required at our hands, but if we warn them, um, I'm going to just continue reading. This is um, Ezekiel 3 and 18. When I say unto the wicked, thou shalt surely die, and thou givest him not warning, nor speak to warn the wicked from his wicked way to save his life. The same wicked man shall die his iniquity, but, but his blood will I require at thy hand. So if we don't give him a warning, if we don't try to tell him that if you say if we tell a person to stop eating pork which pork is um against the law it's against the dietary law so if you tell a jake not to eat pork because it's bad for you it's against the dietary law uh, you get sick from eating pork um you get um all kinds of diseases from eating pork because you know the pig they're like a garbage disposal so and you know you can you can put poison in food and it won't hurt a pig. So if a pig is that toxic, they don't have sweat glands, they're a garbage disposal, and you tell a Jake not to eat that pork because it has tapeworms and all this manner of mess in it, and they still continue to do it. Um, that blood is off your hands. But if you didn't tell them nothing, if you told them. If you just seen them eat pork and you didn't say nothing and and they continue doing it 
and they don't know it's bad to eat pork, then um, they don't, um, then that blood is required at your hand. So that's an example. So if we don't want our people, um, what's going to be fall this place, destruction is coming, uh, World War Three is coming, martial law is coming, all these calamities is coming to Babylon. We don't warn them of all the things that's coming to Babylon. That blood is going to be on our hands. And that's going to be required. That blood is going to be required of us. But in verse 19, it says, Yet if thou warn the wicked, and he turn not from his wickedness, nor find his wicked way, from his wicked way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou shall, but thou hast delivered thy soul. So if we warn them, they continue their wickedness. And they don't take heed to our warning, and they just continue lo being uh, paying lolly lolly. Uh, what's the word? Lolly gagging. Keep continuing, making the society continue go on. And there's they don't believe the destruction is coming, and the destruction comes, and they didn't take heed to the warning to turn back to the law, statutes, commandments. Like how about she Um We've saved our soul. We delivered our soul. Because we warned them, and they didn't take heed. So the blood is on them. It's not on us. Um, I want, uh, I'm going to go to Ezekiel 3 and 1. It says, Moreover, he said unto me, Son of man, eat that thou findest, eat this roll, and go speak unto the house of Israel. So the benefits of eating the roll is, um, like it says, uh, telling the truth, uh, was I sloppy? I tell the whole truth, nothing but the truth. So, so help me, so help me, um, uh, so help me, God. They say that, um, on the they put their right hand on the Bible in this court. It came to mind when I read this scripture. Um, when you eat the whole roll in the scriptures, you can prove. Uh, what you um, uh, what's in the scripture is facts, it will be true. But when you haven't eaten the whole roll, how are you gonna warn someone of the entire in what entirely is in the scriptures if you haven't eaten the whole roll, um, completely? That was my point reading that scripture, but. It says, eat, thou findest, eat the whole room, go speak to the house of Israel. So if you read from old to the Apocrypha to the New Testament, and you um, know what's in the scriptures, because you read it verbatim, and you know what's completely in the scriptures, you can prove, and you know, you can uh, factually know what's, what's, what what is supposed to be warned to the people, and um, what is what, what is um, and what is proven to be warned, uh, what's proven should be warned to the people like, like martial law, like um, RFID chip, microchip, um, World War Three is coming, um, nuclear destruction is coming, ICBM nuclear missile is gonna drop on America, um. You know, all those things is in the scriptures. So if you read the both, if you read the whole roll, um, you can prove that what is factually, why you, why the warning is, is important. Why the warning is important as a watchman to warn these people of these things that are, are surely coming and coming to pass as we keep continue watching as watchmen. So, um, that's it. Um, I think I basically finished my point. I'm going to say all praise and honor glory to Yahweh, Ba Shimi, Al Shah, Ba Shimma, Kakadash. Double honors to other apostles, great millstone. Salutation, you, I can teach all truth, sincerity, and shalom.